Hey YouTube, I'm Jannie and this is Esoteric Moment. Today I just wanted to do a quick book review. I know, I do a lot of those. I read a lot. Um, and this one is a pagan related book review. It's Druid Mysteries by Philip Cargon. Um, this book is kind of a basic introduction to a lot of druidry and specifically the type um, that many Obad members use. Because, of course, Philip Cargon is the chief druid of the Order of Bards, Obates, and Druids. This book is uh, yellowed and worn. I've had it for a few years. And it was one of the first introductions I had to druidry. I love it. Um, it's very simple, short, and sweet. It talks a lot about what druidry is in both uh, a historical sense and a modern perspective. Obviously there's a lot of interesting archaeological evidence about druids and a lot of interesting adaptations and writings from other sources from you know Caesar to 17th century writers and you don't always have a first person source of an actual druid writing about their faith, their practices in you know, hundreds of years ago. This book is set up with kind of some basic chapters like a lot of uh, pagan books are with kind of more introductory topics, history, the wheel of the year, and then it gets into some more interesting topics like druid tree lore, animal lore, um, some myth, and the connection between druidry and wicca. After every chapter, there's a little exercise. A lot of them are very visualization or meditation practices to help you kind of tune in to what Druidry is about and what it can actually mean to you as a person, not just a reader's perspective of another author's work, but how it impacts you on a deeper level. Druid Mysteries also talks about the different uh, classes or levels, non-levels of bards, ovates, and druids, and you really see how it's not a hierarchy, it's not a ladder, it's something that really allows you to spiral ever deeper within yourself and the world around you, which is a pretty powerful and cool way of looking at the world around you. I kind of just wanted to give you a glimpse of what the book is really like so you get a feel for the very approachable tone and easy readability of it. One of the reasons why the subject of druids fascinates us is because there's such a strong association between them and trees. If we close our eyes and imagine a druid, we will often see them beside a tree or within a sacred grove of trees. We sense that druids were at one with nature in a way that we no longer are, and those of us who aspire to become druids do so because we want to attain that at-oneness, that union for ourselves. In a conscious way, we recognize the beauty of trees and their value to us, but just below the surface of our consciousness lies the knowledge that trees also possess keys and powers that, if we were to share in them, would enrich our lives immeasurable. So I highly recommend Druid Mysteries, especially if you're interested in Druidry or kind of looking for some basic um, how to, what it's all about, is this for me sort of reading. And if you're someone who has been practicing Druidry or um, been in pagan circles for a really long time, there are a lot of kind of little nuggets and golden secrets that will be very valuable to you as well. Thanks for watching Esoteric Moment, and I hope you subscribe. We'll have more pagan permaculture stuff here coming up soon. Thanks!